नमस्कार सो आई हैड अटेंडेड एट डे फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम इन जुलाई ऑफ दिस ईयर सो आफ्टर अटेंडिंग दैट एट डे फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम इफ आई लुक बैक नाउ सो आई रियलाइज दैट सर्टन चेंजेस विच आई एक्सपीरियंसड one is regarding that i have take, started taking more care about my own personal health of the body and started going to the playground daily then <clears throat> i was uh, having the weight issue the i was uh, overweight now uh, after this uhv course now what i am observing is that i am able to resist that temptation of overeating and also uh, uh, earlier my the screen time on social media was large now it has come down and uh, in addition to that which others also find that uh, the relationships inside the family and uh, with family members that improve after this uhv training and that has happened with me also and if i look at uh, the Uh, relationships with the uh, the managers in my center i have a technology enabling center in which there are five managers so uh, now that also has improved now uh, on 24th of november we organized one leadership development program this leadership development program for this we started our preparations around one month ago like 24th of october so the first task at hand was creation of the database so database was an important thing so some database we got from the uhv team some we had and some uh, our team members uh, collected and in this Uh, we were very fortunate that uh, by virtue of uh, the fact that we had organized eight day faculty development program in which uh, 35 uh, teachers were trained uh, out of those 35 teachers six seven teachers they uh, continued with the uh, the journey of uhv and when in november we had to organize this leadership development program so we got volunteers and those volunteers who were enthusiastically working for the leadership development program so these uh, volunteers uh, when initially i got this uh, uh, got to know that we have to organize leadership development program so i was a bit uh, worried that it would be too much of work and it would be difficult to handle Uh, but uh, when i now look back then i realized that it was uh, very easy because uh, we had a very good team in punjab university and also a very good parallel team at uh, ncc ip uh, consisting of uh, uh, jitender ji rajul ji uh, ajay pal ji pradeepshin ji bhi and other people so so uh, the work load on individual member was i would say very less so i was talking about the database so first of all what we did was we uh, created the database and uh, then rajnish uh, ji advised us that we should verify the database also ourselves so we verified the data uh, data also uh, by personally visiting the websites of the universities checking that whether the email addresses and the phone numbers and the name of the vice chancellor they are all correct or, or not so we found that there are many mistakes and we corrected those mistakes there after we uh, categorized the database into first priority second priority and third priority so for the first priority uh, contacts we made the we sent the email and also the phone call and then after that we moved on to second priority contacts and the third priority which for which we did not uh, make phone calls but we just sent the email 
so this email send uh, this uh, email sending things this contact started i think around 15 to 20 days before the event we were expecting we were targeting presence of 10 vice chancellors and around 10 people from board of studies so we were targeting people from board of studies because uh, the conveners of board of studies if they get convinced then they can uh, make uh, introduction of uhv in scheme and syllabus as part of agenda in board of studies meetings so this is in front of you this is the uh, brochure of the one day leadership development program so the purpose was to share the vision of holistic value based education and the crucial role of universal human values and to assist universities in developing their plan and program for uhv and hvbe so in this program there were four interconnected sessions consisting of need for human values and professional ethics with reference to constitution NEP, EACT documents, UGC, and sustainable development goals. In the next second session, it was the proposal of human values that addresses these needs. Then the core content of EHE was placed, and then a plan panel discussion was organized. So we had a participation of 126 people, in which there were 16 vice chancellors and uh, four directors of NIT, uh, Jalandhar, NIT Kurukshetar, National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research, then Santlongola Valley Institute. There were 25 mm -hmm. principals directors, uh, one registrar, then people from syndicate of Punjab University, seven, but even professors, eight chairpersons, five deans, so and other 33 people. So 16 vice chancellors plus four directors, that becomes 20, and then 20 principals and directors, that becomes uh, 45 plus five deans, so 50. So 50 people uh, were present in this uh, leadership development program who play a vital role, a vital, a vital role in deciding what goes into schemes and syllabus and how the institutes run and uh, they are in the leadership program, leadership roles. <clears throat> so this was the schedule from 9 to 11 a.m. It was the inauguration. Then from 11.30 to 1 p.m., uh, Dr. Kumar Sambhav presented on holistic development and role of education. Then 1 to 2, it was a lunch break. Then from 2 to 3.30, again, Dr. Kumar Samarji presented human being and human relationship with reference to trust. Then from 4 to 6 p.m., there was a panel discussion in which different uh, uh, eight panelists were there and uh, they articulated their plan for UHV and their uh, feedback. They gave their feedback. So these are the takeaways from the leadership development program. So uh, what I observed in this uh, leadership development program is that uh, the people who volunteered to organize this program, they also got benefited in the sense that when one volunteers, then content of UHV in a very natural and subtle manner uh, gets, you know, one gets reminded of the all that content. And in at Punjab University, uh, for all engineering uh, uh, courses in first year, it has been made mandatory to study a uh, three credit credit subject on universal human values. So that's all from my side. Thank you.